What's up? Welcome back. Kyle Russell from Hydro Mind. In this video, I'm going to show you my pre surf routine, what to do with the one hour leading up to you getting into the water. It's what you do at home and right before you get in the water. It's going to make sure that you have the best session possible, um, catch tons of waves, stay injury free. So you're going to be right warmed up, primed, and ready to go. Um, I put a lot of thought and effort into this over years. There's a heavy focus on simplicity. And I know for sure that all these things I'm about to show you can be done by anyone. You can start today and it will give you an immediate boost in your surfing. I guarantee that. So without any further, I don't know what to do is. So let's just start. All right, one hour before surfing um, is to eat. So I like to mix a smoothie because it's blended up. It's pre-chewed, so it's easy to digest. Tropical blend is like mango and berries. Now for me, uh, just carbs and sugar, I lose energy really quick. It's like a blast of energy and gone. So I operate better on fats and protein. So this is a collagen protein mix. It's by Paleo Valley. It's flavorless. You can add it to anything. Add it to yogurt, things like that. And this will make my energy last a whole lot longer. So one hour before I make the smoothie. And here's another pro tip. I always, almost always take digestive enzymes when I eat. It helps you turn your food into energy more completely by digesting it all. So I get these from Bioptimizers. This one's called Capex. It's for um, fat and protein, so the collagen. And this is for more carbs. This is uh, called Mass Enzyme. So I take these with food. And these are a heart and liver supplement. Great for nutrients as well too. So all this stuff together, we can get the most out of your food and digest it easily and keep things moving. Hey, so I'm just getting ready to go here and I just got this old board I haven't had in years and years and years. So when I was away from the coast, uh, well, so first of all, I bought this board, man, 10 years ago, it's a 7.6 mid. So I got it for surfing like small waves in the summer, two to three foot like it is today. When I was away from the coast working, um, I stored it at my parents' house because when I would fly over just to visit, I wouldn't bring any boards because of the hassle. So I'd always have this here. So there was a lot of times actually where this is the only board I had in the winter. So like overhead, double overhead and one of the best waves I've ever caught in my whole life. It was double overhead, man. It was one of those sessions where I surfed like for like three hours, spent 99% of the time just paddling and fighting the current, getting past the break, getting caught inside, trying to stay in position. Finally, after all that work, I got uh, just the perfect spot offshore, glassy, the thing stood up like it was massive, biggest, fast drop of my life. And so it's, it's, it's kind of a longboard, but it, it's a thruster, right? So I've never ridden a gun, but it's like how I would imagine a gun performing in those conditions. Lightning fast. Um, one of the most memorable waves of my life life top three for sure and the reason it's cool is because i bought this for surfing the junk and I, I just had it on these amazing days and it's like i can kind of duck dive it but i mostly turtle roll it and um it's a very memorable board to me so i, I just got it back from my dad he stored it for me for about probably the last five years the last time i wrote it and the bag is covered in sawdust because uh it was in his woodworking shop so i just unpacked it now i'm just checking it over to make sure it's okay i'm gonna bring it out for the surf today because it's supposed to be like two to three foot and i wish it was overhead but uh we'll, we'll, we'll do we'll deal, we'll deal with what we got <laughs> that's it all right so this is 30 minutes before right before I'm leaving the house right now um, it's stretching the big muscles slowly so for me it's the hips it's the hamstrings and the glutes so what I don't don't do long hold stretches before exercise is how you get hurt what I do is drawn out pulsing stretches so for the hips I stack the legs like this so it's like they're like square with my chest like on top of each other and then try and keep the knee down some of you will be like this that's okay the stretch will be to push it down and then I go forward, I reach across, forward, reach across, and I do this. It's gonna warm up the body and it's pulsing the muscles. So they're stretching and they're getting elongated with every single one. So I do it until I'm feeling good. And then I do upright, spine straight up and down. I mean, straight up and down this way. So I'm like, I'm leaning back, I'm not forward. So I'm back like this, I go side, touch the elbow down, touch the elbow down. Now, some of you, you'll only be able to get this far, that's fine. Get as far as you can, and you be gentle with it too, right? Because if you, if you go hard, you can hurt yourself. The pulsing is meant to be very, very gentle and become more of a stretch gradually. So you're, with the pulsing, it gets a little bit farther and farther each time. And the last one, I like to spread my legs like this, and then it's here, 
it's here and here. And so you can reach with this hand this way, or for more of a stretch, you reach across, which is what I do. And then elbows down, reach across, elbows down, reach across. So if you have really tight hamstrings, it can be dangerous to do too hard because you can hurt yourself. But be very gentle when you're just doing this for the first time. Just little pulses. And for me, this is what I do every single day. So my muscles are used to it and they're longer. And that's what I do. And the last piece, 30 minutes out, is hydration. I keep this every day. I drink one of these every single day. Um, and so what I just done, I drank probably from there to there over a 10 minute period. Um, so my rule for hydration is you want to you want to completely fill your stomach because that'll weigh you down. But my rule is when you get in the water, you should have to pee in the first 20 minutes. So that's how you know you're hydrated enough. It'll prevent cramping. Another thing is water quality. So I recommend getting a pH tester. Test the water that you're drinking. If you're getting from your tap or filter or whatever. And if it's acidic on the pH level, you want to add minerals to it. Easiest and best way, in my opinion, is to use Himalayan sea salt or Celtic sea salt. So it has dozens of trace minerals compared to regular salt. So And that will alkalize your water. It'll make it a lot more healthy. It'll prevent cramping and it's going to hydrate you um, properly. Um, you can also buy drops, liquid drops that you can put in there. Um, I think Alka Pure is the one that I've been using or Alkazone, something like that. Good, good thing about those, they're just drops. They mix instantly, whereas the salt has to dissolve, but um, that's my recommendation. And the final piece for a, before a surf, this is called Shroom Tech. It's made by Onnit. I've been using it for years. I literally, when I was moving, um, I found a bottle of it a decade ago that I hadn't finished. So I've literally been using this stuff for 10 years. It's a non-stimulant endurance booster. What's important about that is if you take stimulants such as coffee, it elevates your heart rate, which negatively affects your ability to hold your breath because you have a hard, high heart rate out there. You're trying to stay calm, trying to conserve energy. You're trying to recover. Your heart's going fast, fast, fast. It really, really negatively affects that and shortens your breath hold time. So you don't want that. These don't elevate your heart rate and give you a massive endurance boost. A word of warning, you don't want to be reliant on something that can be taken away. So paddle training, breath training, that stuff stays with you. It's changing your physiology. This is great for a booster when it's big, you're feeling tired or you just want to surf a really really long session catch tons of waves so use it sparingly i don't recommend it every single day it can be used for workouts as well too that's that all right so right before surfing on the beach right before you get in the water dynamic stretches so moving and swinging warming up the body making it ready for all those explosive movements and endurance stuff so this is the best before exercise before surfing so first one called the tai chi swing feet shoulder length apart really loose and you're swinging like this Look how it mobilizes all the joints, knees, ankles, hips, shoulders, spine. When you keep the head straight like this and you swing your shoulders, it's the neck in it too, right? It's the whole body, dynamic warm up, Tai Chi swing. Number two, spread the legs out farther, arms open, include your breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then the double arm cast. Go up, stretch the front. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I'll give you a bonus one. So alternating kicks. And that's it, right before you warm up, literally right before you get in the water. Okay, I'll give you one more bonus one. These are the least stretches. So you have tight shoulders when you're paddling out there. So you get on your knees, get your leash cuff in one hand, and you go shoulder length apart, twist it so it doesn't slip, and then back like this. Pulsing, again. Do that right before a surf, and you'll open up your shoulders, get your posture up, make paddling a whole lot easier. Okay, surf was mediocre, and that's being generous. <laughs> But one thing, I didn't cramp up, <laughs> I didn't get sore. So yeah, um, simple routines, man. Um, just the little things. You can see that stuff is so simple. It can easily be done by anyone. It doesn't require any kind of special equipment and it'll just allow you to make sure you stay injury free and have the best sessions possible, man. So yeah, if you like this kind of video, man, comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something you wanna hear. Other than that, man, helps me a ton. If you hit the subscribe button, I always love to see that, but the like button matters a ton too. Um, if you want, total structured routine, paddle training, breath training, all done at home, all the stuff I always talk about. Link in the description, hit that, watch the video. If you like what you hear, 
Um, you can book a call with someone from my team, and if you're a good fit and we're a good fit for each other, um, I'd love to welcome you into our Waterman Elite program so uh, you can reach your potential as a server. That's the best way. So, talk to you soon.